Hey, what's up everybody, Jesse here, and today I'm going to introduce my new Lightroom preset pack. There are 9 presets in this pack that will suit a wide variety of different types of photos, so you can edit your photos to look awesome with just one click. If you're new to Lightroom and have no idea about how to color grade your photos like other professional photographers, then trying out others' preset is a great way to start. Because you apply them and see all the settings they've done to achieve that look and really get to know their style, then maybe you'll be able to create your own presets based on your own taste and feeling. Okay, that's the first advantage. And the next one is it's a real time saver. You scroll through your images and apply them with just one click and boom, there you go, a real nice photo right in front of you. Instead of doing all the adjustments, HSL, grain, tone curve, etc. So I think these two are the main advantages of having a preset. And now I'm going to show you how to install them and apply them to your photos. Go to the presets tab and click mouse 2 and click new folder. Name the folder the way you want. Just a simple name will do. And click OK. Then select Import. Go to the folder where you saved the presets. Select all of them and click Import. There you have it. As you can see, if you hover over them, the little photo on the left top side changes to each preset. From there, you can see which preset is best suitable for your photo without activating it. For this photo, the preset number 2 does the job. It looks great, but if I choose the first one, it looks kind of bad and not really working. Instead, the second preset is working really great. And for this image right here, I created preset number 4, which gives it a real nice teal look on the shadows and the skin color stays almost the same as the original one. I inspired this look from Brandon Wolfel, who is a professional photographer. You should check out his Instagram if you don't know him. And about this photo, the third preset gives the look I want. Kind of moody and really suits the place and the feeling. You can press the slash key from the keyboard to see the before and after photos. If you press shift Y, then you can see before and after photos side by side. It's great for comparing them. Okay, let me reset it. As you can see, I took this photo during a golden hour. It has a really rich orange color. So I used preset number 8 to tone down the orange and bring out some dark blue to it. Then crop the unnecessary parts and fit it into Instagram size, which is 4-5. But now it looks kind of underexposed, so I brighten it up a little bit by dragging the exposure slider. And press slash to see the before and after. All right. This looks great. So moving up to the next photo. Apply the preset number 5. Well, to me, the overall color of the photo looks okay. But the skin doesn't look natural. It needs some orange and saturation. And I just want it on the skin. So I choose to use the adjustment brush tool. Press K on the keyboard to select it. Now paint the face and the hand. And if you want to decrease the brush size, just scroll down the mouse rail. The masking doesn't have to be perfect. As you can see, the painted area looks so bright in my case. Now that we're done with the masking, go to the right side panel, double click on the exposure to reset it. And bring up the temperature just a little bit. and put the saturation to 17 or so. Go back to the temperature and drop it to 9. Here is the before and after. Alright, in this next example I'll show you how a simple tweak to the preset can make a lot of difference. Okay, apply the fourth preset and this looks just horrible. It's just not acceptable. So what we can do about it is bring out the temperature to get rid of all the blue tone in. Now this looks so much better. Maybe bring down the exposure just a little bit. 
but it has all the important value of the preset. Well, to me, for this photo, the third preset just nails it. There's no need to change anything. Just one click and boom! Amazing result. You can see the difference of the before and after. Okay, for the final photo that I took indoor with the tungsten light, I'll apply the bonus preset. But this looks broken and needs some tweaks. So again, start with bringing up the temperature to your desired level. And drop the exposure to something like 0.12. The shadows bring it to 50 and that's how it's done so ultimately what I'm trying to say is that you can tweak the preset to match it with your photos it just needs a simple tweak not much and the result will be huge okay thank you guys so much for watching if you bought these or you're going to thank you very much I appreciate the support links are below if you want to pick those up hit that like button if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time